CarPlay has continued to evolve over the years, with each iteration bringing more and more new features and improvements. So what do we get with iOS 12? Let's find out. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here for Apple Insider, and we have our iPhone 10 running iOS 12. So we're going to go ahead and dive in and see what's coming later this fall. While we do get some welcome changes this time around, there are still a lot of areas that CarPlay is lacking. Wireless CarPlay is still seldom seen, and auto manufacturers have really been slow to adopt making their own apps for CarPlay that allows you to control different things like your seats and the AC using CarPlay interface instead of their own. But instead of the negatives, let's go ahead and look at some of the positives for iOS 12 starting out with audio apps. The biggest change is audio apps now launch a whole lot faster than they have in the past. They're also more reliable, have much smoother animations, and there's better communication between the CarPlay interface and the audio app, just overall making them work a whole lot better. Audio apps are one of the most popular apps for CarPlay, so it's nice to see Apple putting some time into really improving the performance of those applications. What was really nice is that we saw improvements immediately running iOS 12 and we didn't have to wait for developers to update their apps to take advantage of those new performance improvements. Apple is working on replacing all of the mapping data with their own in iOS 12. So starting in the Bay Area, like around San Francisco here, you can see there's a whole lot more detail on the maps than there is in iOS 11. They're starting off just here in the Bay Area before moving up through California, then across the rest of the US and most likely many other countries. For those of you who are not fans of Apple's actual mapping application, they don't need to worry because in iOS 12, it finally supports third-party mapping applications, including Google Maps and Waze. You do need to wait for developer update to be able to take advantage of these new features, but when they're here, they'll work natively just like Apple's own Maps app. Many developers have already pledged support, including some bringing offline mapping capabilities, which is really great when you're taking your car into areas with pretty low cell signal. I've been using CarPlay for a number of years and each year it gets better and better. And now with better audio apps and finally third party mapping applications, CarPlay is really going to be used by more and more people. More auto manufacturers have been building into their cars and hopefully next year we'll see even more using wireless CarPlay instead of relying on that tethered cable. Let us know what you guys think of the new updates to CarPlay down below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media, and we'll see you in the next video.